Hey guys, Mona and I are putting this video together today for World Mental Health Day. Uh, it's a subject that's very dear to our hearts and we thought we'd share some of what we've been through in our lives. So, do you want to start or shall I start? You go first. Okay, so when I was 13, I had depression. Uh, in high school, I had anxiety and I took tablets for that. Uh, during my master's degree, I had panic attack disorder and it was very debilitating. I actually ended up in the hospital once. Um, and throughout my life, from when I was 15 and onwards, this was on and off, I had binge eating disorder. Uh, and since I was 12 and onwards, I've had trichotillomania, which is hair pulling. And yes, I have that. Um, over to you, Mona. All right. In high school, I, was, uh, I developed an eating disorder. Uh, I started off with anorexia nervosa, and then that developed into bulimia. Uh, I was hospitalized, um, it was a struggle, and ever since I have befriended binge eating, um, which is not as... Have you really befriended? Bad. <laughs> it befriended me, actually. It's your stalker. <laughs> <laughs> it befriended me and will not leave my side. Um, and I've also, I've also had quite a hard time dealing with guilt, mm. um, ever since my, my sister passed away, uh, it's just that, that, that feeling, um, I continue to work on it and, um, I have my, my highs and my lows. Over to you. So guys, we just wanted to show you that, yes, it may be uncomfortable to talk about mental health, but it happens to all of us. Everyone has their own issues with mental health, just like we have physical health issues, whether it's a virus, a cold, um, an issue in your bone, same thing with mental health. And we should talk about it more. We should break the stigma, normalize mental health, because when you talk about it, you do feel better. Talk about it. Seek treatment when you need to. Do more of what makes you happy. Practice the things that you love and that elevate your, your mood. Um, and the most important thing is be kind to yourself and be patient with the process. And as Mona says, also be kind to others and to animals as well, please. Yes, okay. yes, yes. And just to add one more thing, we all, we, we all tend, most of us tend to take care of our physical appearance from the outside. We train, we run, we climb mountains, we do yoga, we do Pilates, but we forget the inside. What's inside here? What's inside here? It's just as important. Absolutely. And the way we think, the way an example we give when we talk about post-traumatic stress disorder, but it also applies to mental health in general, is imagine a cut on your hand. If I put a Band-Aid without sanitizing it or cleaning it, what happens? It gets infected. And it grows. And it grows. And that applies to, you know, feelings and emotions. And remember, life is not linear, right? Life looks like a heartbeat. We all have our highs and our lows. Or like a mountain. Exactly. We hope this helps, guys. Stay connected. We're here to help in any way. And that's it. Lots of love to you all. Be kind.